Uh, this next gentleman that I'm about to introduce is, is a living legend. He knows a thing or two about the middleweight division and what it's like to be a middleweight. The pressure you carry on your shoulders, on your back, in being a middleweight, in being a champion, your responsibilities, uh, not only to boxing, but to all the fans all over the world. They expect you to be, uh, to, to shine uh, inside that ring because you're a middleweight champion. Um, and so this next gentleman, um, not only did he break records and defend his title uh, uh, 20 times, um, but he, uh, he was always willing to fight the very best uh, at the peak of his career. And so it is my pleasure to introduce to you uh, my partner at Golden Boy Promotions, uh, the living legend, Bernard Hopkins. Thanks, um, Oscar, and everyone that played a role in getting this historic moment to where we at now. The middleweight division goes all the way back as most people in here know. I mean, I'm going back to Ray Robinson when he moved up from welterweight, and even coming all the way up to, as Oscar mentioned, to the great Marvis Hagler, Marvis Marvin Hagler. But this fight here, and I love history, and I like to look at tapes every now and then, even to the day. And I, I thought about when I got here yesterday from Philadelphia, the fight that really stands out to me when it comes to Golovkin and Canelo, and I see the danger in the first couple of rounds of the way both of them fight and the way one is more aggressive. And the first thing I thought about, if you remember the, the Marvin Hagler and the John the Beast Mugambi, John Beast, the Beast Mugambi was a guy that was destroying everybody, even the middle ways from Philadelphia. And anyone up here know about boxing, know about that era. And my era was my era, but now we're in this era, and I'm glad to witness it from a historic point of view and also from a promotional point of view. So I'm very blessed, not lucky. It was meant to be. And I like, again, I'd like to thank everybody that played a role in making this happen because, you know, if you look at the time between 2001 in Madison Square Garden with Felix Trinidad and myself to 2017, don't judge me from a year off, I think that's 16 years. It doesn't happen all the time. But when it do happen, embrace it, enjoy it, and understand that history, history don't always repeat itself. But one thing will repeat themselves is the pride of the, the vision that I felt that my career was made and built on as the foundation that got me all the way up to the end. And so Canelo and Triple G, thanks for respecting the division that made me. So again, enjoy it fans, reporters from all over, and understand that history is something that we should always remember, the definition of that. Doesn't happen all the time. And no matter who you choose, no matter where you go, that will never be forgotten what happened come the 16th on HBO Pay Per View. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Bernard.